Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is LB The Realist, and this is Surrealistic Studios, where the real is surreal, and it gets most surreal. So, apparently, the death of net neutrality has been stalled. It has been temporarily delayed. Now, apparently, this was on purpose um, due to the FCC. Um, uh, they needed to make what they called transparency rules, in which the uh, ISPs let you know, basically, that they're fucking you while they're fucking you. You know what I'm saying? So I call it the Vaseline method. You know, they just they just giving us a little Vaseline. So I got this article here by ARS Technica that I'll read to you. It says, Agit Pai hasn't finalized net neutrality repeal. Here's a theory on why. More than four months after the Federal Communications Commission voted to repeal net neutrality rules, the rules are technically still on the books, and we still don't know when they will die their final death. If you think that's strange, you're not the only one. Harold Feld, one of the top experts on telecom law among net neutrality supporters, wrote this week that the situation is highly unusual. Feld is a telecom lawyer and senior VP of consumer advocacy group Public Knowledge. There is absolutely no reason for FCC Chairman Ajit Pai to have stretched out this process so ridiculously long, Feld wrote. It is especially puzzling in light of Pai's ins insistence that he had to rush through the repeal of net neutrality over the objections of just about everyone but the ISPs and their cheerleaders because every day, nay every minute, ISPs suffer under the horrible crushing burden of the Title II, the FCC statute that governs common carriers. Why are the rules still in place? There is a technical answer related to how Pi structured the repeal, and there is speculation on why Pi structured it that way. A convoluted process. The technical answer is that the repeal is contingent on the US, on US Office of Management and Budget, or the OMB, approval of modified information collection requirements. While Pi's appeal will only totally eliminate the rules against blocking, throttling, and paid prioritization, he isn't, he isn't completely eliminating the transparency rules that require internet service providers to publicly disclose network management practices. Because the transparency rules are being changed, the OMB has to approve the changes. The core rules against blocking, throttling, and paid prioritization remain in place until that happens. Uh, so, you may have seen reports in the past few days saying that net neutrality repeal has been finalized. Those reports were incorrect, though perhaps understandably so, given that this process is kind of confusing. The FCC published its Restoring Internet Freedom Repeal Order in the Federal Registry in February. The post-publication 60-day waiting period would have let the repeal take effect on April 23rd, if not for the FCC's decision to make the core changes contingent on the OMB approval. The only change yesterday was a non-substantial title change that switched the title of the FCC rules from protecting and promoting the open internet to internet freedom, a spokesperson for Pi told ARS. Feld said the FCC could have structured the repeal in a different way that would have allowed the net neutrality rules and Title II classifications of ISPs to be, re to be repealed before the OMB signs off on information collection requirements. In fact, the Obama-era FCC ensured that the, net ne that the core net neutrality rules took effect in June 2015, even though the OMB didn't approve information collection changes until December 2016, 18 months later. Pi's FCC got around to submitting the information collection changes to the OMB on March 28th. The OMB will stop accepting public comments on the changes, excuse me, on the changes after April 27th, but we don't know when the OMB will issue a final decision. That's the technical answer for of why the net neutrality rules and Title II classifications of ISPs are still in place. So they go on to explain how it could be uh, a strategic move on their part, on, on Agit Pi's part. So, Feld has some guesses as to why the FCC followed this slower process. The kindest interpretation is that uh, since the majority have made their weakened disclosure rule the centerpiece on why they can relax the rules, they don't want the repeal to go into effect without the new transparency rules, Feld told ARS. Um, that's basically the explanation given by Pi's office, which told ARS yesterday that the reason was to make a smooth transition between the new framework and the old one. But Phil thinks it's more likely that Pi chose a slow repeal process to give congr congressional Republicans time to implement a weaker set of net neutrality rules without the distraction of internet providers operating in a rule-free environment. They are, aware, they are as aware as everyone else that the ISPs will inevitably do something stupid or greedy and trigger an even bigger backlash than they have on their hands now, he said. Pi has been found fond of saying that the net that the net neutrality repeal hasn't harmed consumers, but that's a pretty low bar to clear given that the rules are still in effect. 
If the rules were eliminated this week and ISPs began violating net neutrality while Congress is negotiating a permanent net neutrality law, it would be harder for Republicans to force Democrats to compromise, Field said. This has all been about trying to push Democrats to compromise and adopt weak legislation. We heard about how they're trying to water down, uh, water down the legislation uh, for net neutrality here in California. Mike Figueredo of the Humanist Report did excellent reporting on that. And he continues to do excellent reporting on this. Um, they go on to say here, uh, I'll just wrap up this article. Democrats aren't backing down. Republican lawmakers are pushing legislation that would let ISPs charge online services for prioritization. Republicans also want to prohibit state governments from enacting stricter net neutrality laws and prohibit the FCC from imposing any type of common carrier regulations on broadband providers. But Democrats haven't been backing down. Instead of compromising, Democrats have been pushing a Congressional Review Act bill that would simply reverse the FCC's net neutrality repeal and ensure that the existing rules remain in force indefinitely. Democrats don't have the votes to get a repeal reversal through Congress, and Trump could veto it anyway, likely so, given that he's all for this. Uh, but Democrats and consumer advocates have made it clear that they think net neutrality could be a significant campaign issue in the November elections. U.S. Uh, Senate M Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat in New York, intends to force a roll call vote on the Democrats' bill, saying with a roll call vote, Republicans will have a chance to write the Trump administration's wrong, and Americans can see for themselves who really has their back in this Congress. Exactly. Democrats may also want to avoid voting for a weak net neutrality bill while state attorney general, uh, while state attorneys general pursue their lawsuit against the FCC. If successful, that lawsuit could re reinstate the full set of rules. And they go on to explain how net neutrality is a campaign issue, and I absolutely agree. Um, you can go ahead and read the rest of this article because I will leave it in the comment or in the description as I usually do. Again, this is from ARS Technica. And again, um, so the rules haven't been exactly finalized yet. Um, they're still waiting on the what they call transparency rules uh, to be cleared by the OMB. So I don't know when exactly that is. I'll stay on top of this to see exactly when that is. But of course, we all knew that this was going to be a slow rollout. And, you know, part of this is that Agit Pai knows the huge negative reaction and, and outcry and backlash that he's received ever since repealing that neutrality. He's been attacked, you know, verbally, you know, online, offline, and his family, you know, uh, apparently people have been leaving notes and, you know, stuff outside their house. So, yeah, yeah, people are pissed off. You know, so it's smart for him to, you know, sort of play this out slowly and just kind of slowly implement these new changes, you know. But you best believe that they've done this for a reason. So I'm hoping that something comes through. The Congressional Review Act doesn't look that great because you have to have a you know, you have to have a majority in both houses and you have to get it signed by Donald Trump. Good luck with that, right? Um, we have lawsuits taking place all over the place and we also have states uh, as like my state California that have enacted their own net neutrality rules um, but we're waiting to see how that plays out because the FCC might just go ahead and sue the states for doing that anyways so it's really probably gonna be left up to the courts here um, so we'll see how this plays out you guys keep fighting keep informed and uh, stay tuned um, Remember to like this video, share it if you feel as though it's shareable, I do, and uh, comment at the bottom so I can hear what you have to say about this, and subscribe to me if you haven't before so we can keep in touch and I can keep bringing you stories like this. Until the next time, remember, love, peace, and chicken grease, all that, and a bag of chips. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.